Hello everyone and welcome back to my new lecture of the mathematics for the CSE stream. We are discussing the model question paper. Today I am with another model question paper set number one, uh, question number B, which is the Latin square design. Okay, so we will solve this question in this today's video. Latin square design problem, right? So present your conclusions after doing analysis of variance to the following results of the latin square design experiment conducted in respect of five fertilizers which were used uh, on plots of different fertility okay so here we have the lot of formulas which you have to use and simple procedure is there okay if you are not seen the last problem yet i have provided the link in the description box you can go through and watch this latin square design problem okay so first of all uh, while writing the solution what we are doing we are just summing these all terms okay 16 plus 10 plus 11 9 plus 9 like that you have to sum and divide it by number of observations 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 this is the 5 cross 5 matrix so total number of observations are 25 so once you sum all the terms divided by this 25 you will get approximately 10 value okay so that 10 you have to subtract from each and every term that is the one what we call one method and another trick is there small trick is there you should uh, check whether which number is more time is repeating in this uh, particular table see here i am observing 10 10 this is 1 2 3 4 4 times 10 is repeating here okay and if you check also for the 12 12 is 3 times 1 2 3 so this is the repeating term here 10 okay so that is also a way to subtract from each and every term now let me just subtract i can write here subtract subtract 10 from each term okay see here 16 minus 10 that is your 6 value 10 minus 10 0 11 minus 10 1 9 minus 10 minus 1 9 minus 10 minus 1 next 10 minus 10 is 0 9 minus 10 is minus 1 14 minus 10 is 4 12 minus 10 that is 2 minus 1 sorry 1 plus 1 15 minus 10 is 5 8 minus 10 is minus 2 same minus 2 0 18 minus 10 is 8 right then 12 minus 10 is 2 <coughs> 6 minus 10 is minus 4 3 and this is your again 3 12 minus 10 is 2 then 3 1 10 minus 10 is 0 7 minus 10 is minus 3 okay then 14 minus 10 is 4 over here okay i hope you are getting now total 6 plus 1 is 7 7 minus 1 is 6 6 minus 1 is 5 right minus 1 plus 4 that is 3 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 is 6 minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 minus 4 plus 8 is uh, 4 4 plus 5 is 9 okay then 2 minus 4 that is minus 2 minus 2 plus 3 is 1 1 plus 3 is 4 4 plus 2 is 6 then 3 plus 1 4 4 minus 3 is 1 1 plus 4 is 5 so this is the summation right now square it 25 36 81 36 5 5 is 25 now so sum that sum in the column wise manner that is 6 plus 5 is 11 11 plus 2 is 13 plus 3 is 16 so this is your minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 3 and minus 4 is minus 7 plus 1 is minus 6 4 plus 1 is 5 5 minus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 minus 1 plus 2 that is 1 1 plus 3 is uh, 4 uh, 4 minus 3 is 1 okay 4 plus 2 is 6 uh, 8 plus 6 is 14 15 15 minus 1 is 14 okay so i hope you are getting so now square this term also you will get the answer 16 square which is equal to 256 6 square is 36 36 again this is your 1 okay this is your sorry uh, yes 14 square 14 square which is equal to 196 now you have to sum up the only t in this case that is your 5 plus 6 is 11 11 plus 9 is 20 26 31 you are getting t value summation of t okay i need this t in the formula okay let's see now another table what you have to do now so the squares are as follows you have to square these numbers now what is the uh, square of 6 36 0 square is 0 1 1 1 right 0 is 0 1 16 and 2 square is 4 1 square is 1 5 square is 25 
फोर फोर जीरो एंड एट एट जार सिक्सटी फोर देन टू टू जार फोर सिक्सटीन नाइन नाइन फोर थ्री स्क्वेर इज नाइन वन जीरो नाइन एंड फोर स्क्वेर इज सिक्सटीन ओके नाउ सम ऑफ दीज टर्म्स हियर दैट इज थर्टी सिक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट इज यर सिक्सटी वन सिक्सटी वन प्लस फोर इज सिक्सटी फाइव सिक्सटी फाइव एंड नाइन इज सेवेंटी फोर ओके सो फोर प्लस वन इज फाइव सिक्स सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन प्लस सिक्स इज ट्वेंटी टू ओके सो सिक्सटीन प्लस फोर इज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी नाइन थर्टी नाइन नाइन एटीन एटीन प्लस फोर इज ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ओके सो नेक्स्ट सिक्सटीन प्लस फोर इज ट्वेंटी दिस इज यर सिक्सटी फोर सो एटी फोर ओके एटी फोर एटी सिक्स नाउ समेशन ऑफ दीज टर्म्स एक्स आई स्क्वेयर विच इज यूज इन द फॉर्मुला दैट इज सेवेंटी फोर प्लस ट्वेंटी टू प्लस थर्टी प्लस ट्वेंटी थ्री प्लस एटी सिक्स राइट विच इज इक्वल टू टू थर्टी फाइव आई एम गेटिंग हियर टू थर्टी फाइव नाउ यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द करेक्शन फैक्टर दिस ऑल फॉर्मूलाज आर इन यूर डाटा हैंड बुक विच विल they give in your examinations what there okay so t square by n what is the t value we have calculated here that is 31 okay t value summation of t is 31 that is square divided by n number of observations are 25 as it is a 5 cross 5 matrix so 31 square is equal to 961 divided by 25 which is equal to 38.44 38.44 you are getting correction factor now Total sum of squares is equal to summation of x i square minus t n t square by n. So summation of x i square already we have calculated. That is what 235 minus t square by n is already calculated in the above step 38.44. So 235 minus 38.44, 38.44, which is equal to 196.56. 196.56 is your TSS value, right? Now SSR sum of square is row wise. That is your summation of TI square by n. So whatever you have calculated the T squares, you have to take that. That is 25 upon the ni number of varieties. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 25 by 5 plus 36 by 5. This one 36 by 5 plus 81 by 5 plus 36 by 5 plus 25 by 5 minus this t square by n it is already here calculated that is 38.44 okay so ssr we will get here which is equal to i will calculate it in the kelsey that is your 25 plus 36 plus 81 plus 36 plus 25 divided by 5 minus 38.44 which is equal to 2.16. So SSR is equal to 2.16. Now sum of square is column wise. It is given by summation of PI square divided by NI. Means you have calculated here PI square. That is 22. Sorry, 256 divided by number of varieties are 5. So plus 36 upon 5 plus 36 upon 5. I hope you are following. Plus 1 upon 5. Plus here we have 196 upon 5. And minus t n square is thirty eight point four four. Now let me calculate this one here. So two fifty six plus thirty six plus thirty six plus one plus one ninety six divided by five minus thirty eight point four four, which is equal to sixty six point five six. So S S C is equal to sixty six point five six. I hope up to this it is clear. now uh, write down the observations separately means in the first table uh, you take the value of a is equal to 6 in the second row there is a value as 4 okay in third row there is a value as 8 and then in this three values there for a here one value like that one you have to take separate values for a b c d so now b b is 0 first then in this case 2 okay in this 5 in this one Three and this one four. Okay, likewise you have to take. So for C, C value is one first, then minus one, then here zero. Okay, then in this case two, and last one C is three over here. Okay, next one is. Uh, next is uh, here D. D is minus one first, then in this case plus one, in this minus two, 
and in this one two and in this zero now last e e value is minus one first then in this case zero then in this row minus two and in this minus four and this row uh, e value is minus three i hope you are getting now summation of these terms six plus four is ten eighteen nineteen nineteen plus three that is twenty two and you have to take square later on we will take it five plus two is seven plus three is ten it is four fourteen okay. So another now one minus one is zero two plus three is five right so one minus one it will be zero minus two plus two it will be again zero over here so minus one minus two minus three minus three minus four is minus seven minus seven minus three is minus ten now take the squares of these terms okay so twenty two square which is equal to four eighty four four eighty four fourteen square fourteen into fourteen which is equal to one ninety six five square is twenty five zero 10 square is 100. Now we have to calculate sum of treatments over here. Okay, SST. So it is given by QI square by NI means these terms you have to take that is 484 divided by number of varieties 5 QI square terms. These are the summation. Okay, plus 196 upon 5 plus 25 upon 5 plus 0 by 25. No need to write 100 upon 25 minus T square by N. Already we have calculated that is 38.44. 38.44 now let me calculate this sst fine this is 484 plus 196 okay plus 25 plus 100 divided by 5 okay minus 38.4 which is equal to 122.6 122.6 value okay this is your sst now in order to calculate some of errors so sse is equal to tss minus ssr so we have calculated all the values so now you have to put down the values this is your tss that is 196.55 sorry 56 minus ssr value is 2.16 minus ssc value is 66.56 minus sst value is here 122.6 now just calculate this sse value so i will get 196.56 minus 2.16 minus 66.56 minus 122.6 which is equal to 5.24 so s error value is 5.24 over here okay this is all about the calculations now in the last ANOVA table you have to just write down the values so for rows degree of freedom is number of varieties minus 1 which is equal to 4 5 are the varieties a b c d e so column or columns are also 5 okay minus 1 which is equal to uh, 4 over here okay see here in the problem it is given 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 rows 5 columns and for treatments treatments are also 5 over there 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 and error is given by c minus 1 into c minus 2 c is columns column is is 5 minus 1 and 5 minus 2 this is 4 into 3 that is your 4 into 3 is equal to 12 is the error now ssr already we have calculated now we have to already only put down in the table that is 2.16 ssc value is 66.56 and your sst value is 122.6 and your sse value is 5.24 okay now msr msr is given by ssr divided by degree of freedom that is 2.16 divided by 4 and this one 66.56 divided by 4 and you are 122.6 divided by 4 and msc value is 5.24 this sse divided by degree of freedom that is 12 now let me calculate it separately so 2.16 divided by 4 which is equal to 0 0.54 and 66.56 divided by 4 is equal to 16.64 right then 122.6 122.6 divided by 4 right which is equal to 30.65 okay then 5.24 divided by 12 is equal to 0 0.43 so 0 0.43 now in order to calculate the F ratio you take down the for MSR MSR value is 0 0.54 divided by minimum minimum value is in this case MSE okay so divided by 0 0.43 
in this case 16.64 is the value for msc so divided by mse that is 0.43 whichever is minimum you have to divide that for this 30.65 divided by 0.43 so let me calculate it so 0.54 divided by 0.43 which is equal to 1.25 1.25 next term that is 16.64 divided by 0.43 which is equal to 38.69 okay then 30.65 divided by 0.43 which is equal to 71 so what is the degree of freedom value in this case 4 and what is the error value 12 so f f is less than 4 comma 12 and in the earlier videos i have shown you how to calculate this f ratio in the f distribution table so at 4 comma 12 so 1.25 is less than that particular critical value okay so therefore i can say that hypothesis is accepted in this case this is our conclusion so for the uh, fr for the columns okay so value is 38.69 i can write f is greater than that particular critical value 4 comma 12 so our hypothesis is rejected in this case i hope you are getting so now in this case 71 so definitely f is greater than 4 comma 12 at that particular critical value so our hypothesis again rejected in this case okay this is all about the solution of this particular question by using latin square design method over here i hope this is clear to all you all people who are there so make sure you will share this video to all your friends and thanks for watching my video